Hi guys, welcome, it's Heidi. I'm back today for another review for you. Uh, today I'm going to review a product by Love41. This will be my first review on um, any of the bags from this company. Um, I have owned a few of them in the past, but I wanted to review this one today for you because um, it's become a really, really fun bag to carry. I got this one for Christmas and this is the Love 41 Small Simple Tote. Uh, Love 41 is the sister company of Saddleback Leather. It's a husband and wife team, and um, actually they do a lot of missionary work in Africa, and the proceeds from their Love 41 side of the business uh, actually goes all toward that mission. So it's a great company to support. I enjoy their products. I love the color of their tobacco leather. It's my favorite. <clears throat> It definitely has more of a rugged, rugged look, but the feel of this leather is, it's just amazing. Like I haven't found another leather that's exactly like this one in terms of um, how it wears and how it feels. It has almost like a, um, like a fuzzy feel. Excuse my dog, she's, um, she's decided it's playtime in there. But anyway, this one has like, um, and I hope I can pick this up. I don't know that I will be able to. But it has, there we go, it has like a, a texture that you can run your finger on and see how the leather changes direction. But it's not a suede, so it's not that really delicate suede leather, so it's very, very durable. Um, totally fine to carry this one out in the rain, no worries at all. So, <clears throat> this one is the newer version of their Simple Tote. Um, it's basically the same in terms of style. Um, the, the, the simple tote is a lot larger than this one um, by quite a bit. This one is actually um, 10.5 inches in the width. And then your height is only 8.25. And your depth is four and a half on the bottom there. And then the bag itself, it only weighs 1.1 pounds so it's a very very lightweight bag um, but it is still a full grain leather very high quality leather and one thing that's different about their straps is they're made of the exact same leather as the bag itself so that means they're going to come to you already floppy and soft and very flexible and as you can see, this bag, I've, I haven't, this bag looks like it's been carried a lot. I've actually carried it, you know, maybe like, um, I don't know, maybe a month at the most because I do rotate my bag so often. But this is definitely a fun one to carry. Um, the one thing that kind of um, worried me a little bit about this bag was the handle drop. It has a very long handle drop. And at my height, I don't like for my handle drop to be too long. I think this one is 12. I'm trying to find it on the website and I should have looked that up before I started, but here I am not knowing. Okay, um, the shoulder drop is actually 12.5. So yeah, you have a really long handle drop and I'm five foot five. And I was worried about that. Like, is this gonna be like hanging way too low on me? But look, it's because the bag is small that it, it's not an issue. It's just, it's not a problem at all. And I thought it would be, so I was really, really excited when I found out that it wasn't gonna hang super low. And I've actually wanted to try out the regular, the large simple or the regular simple, but I'm not sure. I'm like, I'm not sure how long that will, that will fall on me, so. But this one is, is great. You can see there that it's very comfortable. Lots of room under here, so if you want this one to carry in the winter you won't have a, any trouble there with the wearing a big coat with it <clears throat> the inside of the bag is all unlined and it's that same really super soft leather and i wish you could smell it it smells amazing i always love to smell my bags but this one has an interior pocket um just like that and it's it's a decent pocket, very decent. Uh, <clears throat> and then the inside also has uh, one key fob. 
to attach your keys so you don't have to dig all over your bag for your keys. And I will mention that the regular simple does not have the interior pocket. So if you go with the small, you get the interior pocket. Just, a, I mean, just like its name, it's a very, very simple design. It is branded with their logo, which has recently changed. I really love their new logo. And it comes in a couple of different colors. Um, this is the tobacco. And it also comes in a chestnut and a dark, dark coffee brown. So check them out if you get a chance. It's a really great company. Um, and then this one I wanted to show you just because it's the same brand, definitely not the same style, but this one is a Love 41 bag as well. And this is called the Large Duffel. <clears throat> I don't see this one currently on their website, but they do have a small or a mini duffel, I should say. And this one is also in tobacco. And that has their original or their older logo on it. And it does have a pocket on the back, which fits my iPhone 11 Pro really nicely. Very easy access there. I really like that feature. And this is, um, this does have that velvety, that velvety leather to it. For lack of a better word, I really don't know what to, do, what to call that, but it does have that leather that you can feel change direction. And over time, this, that may not last. It will definitely patina because this is a full grain leather. But it, it's only going to get better. It's definitely only going to get better. It gets that, develops that really nice shine to the, um, to the leather. So you're going to hear something at the door and the dog barking. That's my neighbor coming to play with my six-year-old. So my daughter's going to handle that so we don't have to stop. Um, the inside of this bag is um, lined with pig skin. So um, it's very durable. It keeps, I think the pig skin is actually, um, it's more structured. It, it helps the bag keep its structure more. So I understand why they had to do that with a duffel because of keeping its shape. So that's really nice. And then it has an interior pocket along the side there. And that's it. Like it's just basically a very simple bag, but you would be amazed at what all can fit in this bag. Like I literally can pack all of my things along with my camera and maybe like my external flash or anything like it, it it holds a lot like it's really impressive as far as the way it looks and what it holds <clears throat> and it has these um it has like a little leather pull on the zipper very hardy zipper in here that and that is a ykk and it does have the natural handles so basically this is, um, this is just basically uh, vegetable tan leather that, and it will deepen and change colors with time. And mine has actually, when you get them at first, they're almost like a really um, nude type color and they do you know warm up and just change into a really beautiful color. And it has the antique brass hardware. And on the sides, you can extend your zipper by pulling these tabs up. It just has a little rivet there on the side where you can press that back in. And this bag does have come with a crossbody option, which is nice. It's kind of hard to put those back, honestly. Um, it comes with a matching strap. And this one is actually a little different than these where these are just raw leather, unfinished on this side. The bag with the, uh, the duffel strap does come finished on both sides and it does have the typical belt-like adjuster. Now, one thing about this bag, there is nowhere to attach your um, crossbody. You actually have to use your D-rings from your handles to attach those. So that's what I'm doing now, attaching those. And then I will put this on for you to see. Um, has nice, really sturdy hardware. Actually, I attached this wrong, so I'm gonna actually have to put the strap in the back for a second, but just so that you can see where, how it looks on five, five frame. I wouldn't wear the, 
the adjuster in the back, but because I put it on wrong, I'll just mention that <laughs> instead of switching it. So you can kind of see that it, it's, I mean, it's a substantial bag. It, it stands out pretty far. Um, the handles you can push down. Um, it's not the easiest to push down because of the, where this hooks on, but it's also not an issue for me. It's never been, you know, something that really bugged me or anything like that. So, and I actually have this one for sale if anyone's interested. I have this one listed in my Poshmark account. Uh, let me know if you need a link to that. I'll be glad to give you a link. I have actually, you know, several bags for sale right now. And it's not because of, you know, reasons that I don't love them. It's just, I, I don't know, it's like a hobby for me. So I'm constantly um, wanting to try new bags and I can't keep them all. Like I don't, you know, my closet's already I've got like, you know, the whole shelf covered sort of thing. So I kind of have to rotate them in and out and sell and to make room for more. So it's not that I don't love it. I love it. <laughs> but I just wanted to um, mention that. But anyway, this is the small, simple. Check it out. Really great for a quick carry. And I was kind of concerned that it wouldn't fit all my things, but it does. I have a full-size makeup bag, full-size Patricia Nash wallet. Um, just to show you like a, a bottle of hair gel or whatever will fit. Mask, just stuff that in and a comb. And then the only other things that I would typically carry would be um, like I could put my keys on this hook or back in the back pocket and my cell phone. And I have like a little small card wallet that I carry with my most used um, like debit card that I need easy access to right there. And as you can see, it fits with plenty of space left, nothing sticking up over the top. It doesn't look overstuffed. It's just a really great, comfortable carry. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, any other videos you'd like to see. Um, I do have more coming. I do have more bags to review, so I'm excited about that. And I hope you enjoyed watching and have a great day. Thanks.